In this Blender tutorial I will demonstrate how to use the Boolean modifier. This tutorial is aimed at beginner users who have a basic understanding of how to use Blender. During this tutorial you will be able to see the required mouse and keyboard inputs, at the bottom left of the screen as indicated, as well as verbal explanations. The Boolean modifier works by using two separate meshes to interact with each other, to create a mesh shape from the two meshes. I will use a cube and a UV sphere, to create these meshes. For the best results the two meshes should be manifold meshes, or meshes that are closed. I will start with the default cube and add a UV sphere. I will increase the scale of the cube to make the results of the boolean operation more easier to see. To avoid problems it is a good idea before using modifiers, to apply any scale or rotations to the mesh. To add the boolean modifier, make sure the cube is selected and click on the modifiers icon. Then select boolean from the drop down list. The UV sphere needs to be selected as the object to be used in the boolean operation. The object can be selected in the drop down list, or by clicking on the eyedropper then clicking on the object in the viewport. I will now demonstrate the three different boolean operations. The difference option will use the sphere to subtract from the cube. I will move the UV sphere halfway into the cube, then hide the sphere in the viewport, so the effect of the boolean modifier can be seen. The result of the difference operation is to carve a half sphere shape into the cube. The objects can be moved around to adjust the boolean shape, this can be useful in creating animations. Or the boolean can be finalized by clicking the apply button. I will now use the intersect operation. Everything is kept within the area where the meshes intersect. I will now use the union operation. The UV sphere is added to the cube. Switching into wireframe mode, gives us a better look at how the mesh is made up. The overlap threshold adjusts how far the faces of the objects need to be before they begin to interact. The default setting works ok in most cases, but it can be adjusted if needed. If you found this tutorial useful click like, and leave a comment.